Okay, good day to everyone again and welcome sa mga uh, review ng Master Plumber for exam. Good luck po sa inyong lahat and hopefully makatulong itong topic natin sa inyong pag-review. Let us continue our topic for today, uh, plumbing fixtures. Our lesson is faucet, drinking fountain, showers, hot tubs, BD, floor drains and emergency pictures so yan mga pictures and addition and fittings regarding the plumbing pictures and before we proceed yan sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag subscribe please subscribe to our channel for more engineering topics and master plumber review and other review tutorials no software tut tutorials must and body some review and please follow me Dito yung channel yan. At Bryce AC or Bryce Academy and Consultancy sa Facebook, ah, sa YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And please also subscribe to this MCGI channel. The best principles in economics, MCGI channel. So, mga magre-review naman ng urban, environmental planning, no? Green Friend Forever, please subscribe to that channel. Green Friend Forever for the review no? sa mga magte-take ng environmental planning board exam. Okay, and yan. Tignan ko, lecture natin. Faucet, drinking fountain, showers, hot tubs, bidet floor, drains, and emergency egg. pictures. Sorry. Okay, this is the one. Faucet. A faucet performs the simple operation of opening, closing, and mixing hot and cold water. Faucet are categorized by application. Type of faucets include laboratory faucets, residential kitchen sink faucet, laundry faucet, sink faucets, and commercial faucets. The classification commercial faucets includes commercial kitchen faucets and commercial kitchen sink faucets. Does not include laboratory faucet. faucets. All laboratory are classified the same whether they are installed in residential or commercial buildings. Should be noted, however, that there are styles of laboratory faucets used strictly in commercial applications. These include self-metering laboratory faucets that discharge a specified quantity of water and automatic laboratories that operate on sensors. Low faucet rate restrictions. For the type of faucet, kitchen sink, a maximum flow rate is 2.2 gallon per minute at 60 six PSI pressure. For the laboratory faucet, same naman, 2.2 gallon per minute at 60 PSI. For laboratory faucet or public use, ang flow rate niya is 0.5 gallons per minute at 60 PSI. PSI and for laboratory faucet for public use using metering, the flow rate is 0.25 gallon per cycle. So source is ASPE 2004. In addition to controlling the flow of water, a faucet protects the potable water supply against backflow. It's often a for forgotten requirement. Since most faucets rely on an air gap to provide protection against backflow. And an air gap is provided between the outlet of the faucet and the flood level rim of the pictures. No additional protection is necessary. Backflow protection becomes a concern whenever a faucet has hose thread outlet, flexible hose connection, or full out spray connection. For these styles of faucet, additional backflow protection is necessary. The, the hose or hose connection eliminates the air gap by submerging the spout or outlet in a non-potable water source. The most common form of backflow protection for faucet not having an air gap is the use of vacuum breaker. Many manufacturers include an atmospheric vacuum breaker in the design of faucet 
faucets that require additional backflow protection. Standard atmospheric vacuum breaker must conform to ASSE 1001 or 1001. Next is the drinking fountains. It's designed to provide drinking water to users. Classification of drinking fountain is the water cooler, refrigerated water dispenser, or the drinking fountain is non-refrigerated water dispenser. The height of drinking fountain, drinking fountain is not regulated other than accessible drinking fountains contains conforming to NNC, ANSSI, or International Code Council, ICC, A117.1. Or the location, so grade school, 30 inches yung typical height above the finish floor line. And others is 36 to 44 typical height above finish floor line. The water supply to, drink, to a drinking water fountain is a 10 millimeter or 38 inches in diameter. Drainage connection is 14 inches. Medyo madami din to eh. For the naman, these are designed to allow full body cleansing. The size and configuration of shower must perform an individual to bend at the waist to clean the lower body extremities. The minimum size shower enclosure required in the code is 30 inches by 30 inches or 0.6 square meter based on RNPCP. The code further stipulate that the shower have a 30 inches or 762 millimeter diameter circle within the shower to allow free movement by the water. The maximum permitted flow rate from a shower bulb is 2.5 gallon per minute at 80 PSI. Shower bulbs, shower bulbs must be a must be thermostatic mixing. Pressure balancing or a combination of thermostatic mixing and pressure balancing and conform to ASSE 1016. The shower bulbs not only control the flow and temperature of the water, they also must control any variation in the temperature of the water. These bulbs provide protection against scalding as well as sudden change in water temperature, which can cause slips and holes. A pressure balancing bulb maintains a constant temperature of the shower water by constantly adjusting the pressure of the hot and cold water supply. If there is a change in pressure on the cold water supply, the hotter, hot water supply balances to the equivalent pressure settings. And tested pressure balancing bulb cannot have a fluctuation in temperature that exceeds 3 degrees Fahrenheit. The cold water shuts off completely. The hot water shuts off as well. Yun, nag adjust pala siya na pamagitan ng pressure balancing valve. Okay, thermostatic mixing valves. Masami to adjust the temperature of the water by manufacturing a constant temperature once the water temperature is set. This is accomplished by thermally sensing controls that modify the quantity of hot and cold water to keep the set temperature. The difference between a thermostatic mixing bulb and a pressure balancing bulb is that a thermostatic mixing bulb will adjust the temperature when there is fluctuation in the temperature of either the hot or cold water with a water pressure balancing bulb and the temperature of either the hot or cold water changes the temperature of the shower water will change accordingly the maximum flow rate permitted for each shower is 2.5 gallons per minute at 80 psi the shower bulb is typically located 48 
to 50 inches above the floor. Installation height for shower head ranges from 65 to 84 inches above the floor of the shower. The standard height is 78 inches for shower used by adult males. Ito po, yan, tatandaan natin yan. Maximum flow rate for each hour, 2.5 gallon per minute, 80 PSI. Uh, typical shower bulb is typically 48 inches above the floor. Uh, the height, insulation height of shower head naman, 65 to 84 inches above the floor. And standard height naman is 78 inches per shower used by adults. Yan. Next is the bath tubs. A bath tub was the original picture used to bath or cleanse one's body. Eventually, a shower was added to the bath tub to expedite the bathing process. Standard installation was a combination tub shower. Bath tub fill bulb. Two types of bath tub fill bulb. Number, letter A is tube filler and B is combination tub shower. Tub, shower, and bulb. Combination tub and shower bulb. Tub and shower bulbs must be pressure balancing, thermostatic mixing, or combination pressure balancing and thermostatic mixing bulbs conforming to ASSE 1016. The tube pillar is not required to meet these requirements. Although, there are pressure balancing and thermostatic mixing tube pillar bulbs available. Okay, the typical bathtub wrap in, yeah, ang dimension niya is 60 inches in length and 30 inches in width. Then the bathtub fill bulb, yan, mula sa, uh, ano ba to? Sa top ng, ng bathtub, 14 inches siya. Ito naman, mula, ito naman, yung isa to. This is the faucet mo. 4 inches mula sa top ng bulb. Then, ba to? Finish floor line, 2 p trap, top. Yan, 7, maximum 7 inches. Finish floor line, 2 p trap, top. Ito naman, 1.5 inches to, yung drain niya, no, yung drain. 1.5 inches from the wall to the floor drain. Ayan. Kuli natin. Spout of the tube, the tub pillar, must be properly installed to maintain a 2-inch air gap between the outlet and the plant level ring of the bathtub. If this air gap is not maintained, then the outlet must be protected from backflow by some other means. Certain decorative tub pillars have an atmospheric vacuum breaker installed to protect the opening is located below the plug level rim. Standard location of the bulb, but tub pill bulb is 14 inches above the top of the bathtub. Spout is typically located 14 inches above the top rim of the bathtub to the center line of the pipe connection. Next is bidet. A bidet is a picture designed for cleaning the perineal area. The picture is meant for both male and female cleaning. A bidet has faucet that comes with or without a water spray connection. When a water spray is provided, the outlet must be protected against backflow since the opening is located below the blood level rim of the bidet. The facturers provide a decorative atmospheric vacuum breaker that is located on the deck of the bidet. The picture, the picture being similar to a laboratory has a 1 and 1 per inch drainage connection. Another one, no? the floor drains. Floor drain is plumbing picture that is the exception to the definition of the plumbing pay plumbing fixture. There is no supply of cold and hot water to a floor drain. 
every other plumbing fixture has a water supply. Floor drains are typically provided as an emergency fixture in the event of leak or overflow of water. They are also used to assist in cleaning of a toilet or bathroom. The minimum size drainage outlet required by the plumbing code is 2 inches. Floor drains may also serve as indirect waste receptors or condensate lines, overflow lines, and similar indirect waste lines. A trench drain is considered a type of floor drain. Trench drains are continuous drains that can extend for a number of feet in length. Trench drains are popular in indoor parking structures and factory and industrial areas. Each section of trench drain must have a separate trap. The next, oh, emergency fixtures. Types of emergency fixtures. Number one, emergency shower. Also called a drench shower. Because of the large volume of water discharged through the emergency shower, a typical low end flow rate through an emergency shower is 25 gallons per minute. The flow rate can be as high as 100 gallons per minute. The minimum size water connection is 1 inches. The shower head is typically installed 7 feet above the finished floor. Tasa. Or the next is the eye wash station, emergency fixtures, no? number two. For washing the eyes, unlike an emergency showers, in eye wash station, the water flow rate is gentle so that the eyes can remain open during the washing process. Flow rates for an eye wash station range from 1.5 to 6 gallon per minute, gallons per minute. These pictures are designed to wash a victim with large volume of water when there is a chemical spill or burn or another hazardous material spilled on an individual. There are also combination of emergency shower and eye wash stations. Emergency fixtures are normally, normally required by OSHA regulations. In industrial buildings and chemical labo laboratories, Emergency pictures are sometimes added at the owner's request in addition to the minimum number, number required by OSHA. Itong OSHA na to, mo. Occupational Safety and Health Authority. OSHA. Okay, that's all for our topic for this session. Uy, next topic natin is 5 feet. Things by pitings in next lecture natin. Okay. Pitings yeah. for comments, suggestions, inquiries. Yan. Pwede po kayong mag-email. No? Paulit-ulit ko na lang sinasabi yan. Bryce.academy.consultancy at gmail.com And to that number flashes on your screen. Yan naman. Kung sino po yung uh, willing mag-donate, any amount are very much appreciated to this number, no? Gcash, Paymaya, and CoinsPH. And please support me in my Facebook page, no? at price underscore AC. And to this channel, no? Price Academy at Consultancy, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Though, nauuna kasi yung YouTube ko, no? pero pag uh, may mga link ng YouTube, sinashare ko sa Facebook. So help me naman, no? To reach the 1,000 subscribers in followers in the Facebook. Yan. Sa mga gusto mag-avail ng Master Plumber Reviewer, no? Yung mga Q&A natin, yung mga topics natin, and more. Then, yun pala. Gagawa po ako ng join button no, sa membership. Tapos, may mga anong tawag nito? Mga previous tayo doon kapag nag-join kayo membership button like the uh, yeah the more reviewer and many more no so yan di ko pa sana lang siya naayos for the meantime so hopefully by next sa mga susunod na session maayos ko na siya okay uh, for more 
uh, master plumber or engineering topics, review, super tutorials, no? please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell and all button para ma-notify po kayo kung may mga bago tayong video. Thank you very much and good luck sa mga takers natin and have a great day. Thank you very much.